Hey guys, this is Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the blog Grupo Dicas, one of the biggest travel blogs in the world. And today I am here to tell you where to stay in Santiago, what are the best regions, what is the best neighborhood, what are the pros and cons of each one. So I'm going to give you some really quick and useful tips that will really make a difference on your trip. So check out the video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel because that helps us a lot and buckle up. Well, Santiago is a beautiful city, we liked it a lot, in my opinion it was the city in South America that I liked the most, I felt more at home there, I found the place very beautiful, organized and clean, I became a real fan of Santiago, so it's a very beautiful city and it has many nice areas to stay, but there are some that are much better in terms of location of the tourist points, so for you who are going there for the first time, it's good to stay in a region that's close to everything, close to the best sites, tours, so you don't lose much time, Chile has a nice subway line public transportation you can take uber and cabs but the closer you have things the better so we're gonna give some nice tips for you right here so let's go, there are two regions that we highly recommend, which is to be very direct, the Bella Vista region and the Providencia region. The Providencia region is bigger and it's a little bit more sought after by tourists, it's the number one region for lodging, everything for those who are going to Santiago, there is tourism, so Providencia is the most sought after, but there is also Bella Vista, which is close by, next to Providencia, which we will explain why we recommend it there as well together with this one, so you're gonna understand it better. So let's go, first we talk about Providencia, it's a very nice region, very nice, the houses, the architecture, buildings are very beautiful, the streets are very tree-lined, it is a very nice place to stay, it's not exactly in the center of Chile, the tourist attraction that are the historical center of Chile, which is where the Plaza del Armas is, La Moneda Palace is a little further away, it's outside this region, and it's not such an area to stay, so that's why people end up staying in Providencia, so that they can be close to the center and go to these main tourist historical attractions but in the Providencia neighborhood there are also many nice tourist attractions and there are many new and modern things for example there are two cerros that are beautiful one is very low which is the Cerro Santa Lucia and on top is the Cerro San Cristobal they are two incredible cerros what is the cerro they call it's like a viewpoint you go up mountain hill both are beautiful there are sculptures on the way and a park Santa Lucia is much smaller you get to know it very quickly the San Cristobal is huge, it's inside the Parque San Cristobal, which you can see from the map that it's huge, it's on top of the Providencia neighborhood, they give you a view, they give you a view of the city that's sensational, so they are two very popular places and they are in the Providencia neighborhood, there's also the Costanera Center, which is the biggest shopping mall in Latin America, it's gigantic and it has the biggest skyscraper too, which is La Costanera, so these are two places that you will visit, so you end up being very close to everything and there's also La Chascona which is one of the three tourist houses that became the Pablo Neruda Museum which is also very popular so it's all there so you'll be close to practically everything it's a very nice area and there are a lot of hotels the biggest offer of hotels in there there's no way and there's also the Bella Vista area that we mentioned that's right next door if you look on the map you will see that it's a smaller area but it's right next door and it's also on top of the historic center that we mentioned that has some of the most historic attractions in the city but this neighborhood is very trendy it's very nice because it has a lot of young people it has a lot of restaurants little bars the Pacho Bella Vista which is like a mini shopping center but it's almost all restaurants and some nice souvenir shops to visit as well but there are many restaurants nice little bars bars that at night are all lit up, it's very beautiful, so if you stay there you will also be in a very nice area between Providencia and downtown, so you're in a good location, so it's up to your taste, look, usually you stay in Providencia, if it's your first time, you're a little bit in doubt, go there and it's already a great place. And to make your life a little bit easier, we made a very nice link, I'll leave it here in the video description, we made a personalized map, so we used the hotel search engine that we use for our tours, which is the biggest one in the world, you sure know it, the prices are always the best, their tour is sensational, and then we built inside them a map, you click on it, you to, will open a map with a delimited area, this is the area that we selected that we think is the best area for you to be located, this area is Providencia, and it also takes a little bit of Bella Vista, so you can choose the of your trip and staying in this area you'll be in an 
excellent location and close to everything. And another great tip to save a lot on lodging, this hotel search engine has an exclusive deal with almost all the hotels in the world for free cancellation. So our tip for you to save on lodging is buy in advance. Book your hotel as far as in advance as possible and it will always be cheaper. So you just enter the site, enter the date of your trip, see a nice hotel with a good price and make sure you don't have problems later because prices do go up. As the rooms are emptying out, they become unavailable and the hotels go up and you lose the coolest hotels which are the ones that sell out first so you guarantee it and then you search it, you find a better hotel, a better promotion or if you want to change neighborhood then you cancel because cancellation is free. That's what we think is really nice about them so you guarantee the best price for sure either now or later so make a reservation there and it's gonna be worth it if you do it in advance it's gonna be a lot cheaper and another area that we'll mention quickly here is Las Condes. It's a neighborhood that it's a little bit more residential and financial. It's a newer neighborhood, so it's much more beautiful than the other neighborhoods. In terms of trees, sidewalks, trees, the architecture is beautiful. The buildings are very beautiful and very modern. So it's a very sought after region also by those who go there for work. But some tourists also stay. We stayed there the first time. A couple of our friends lived there. So we got to know the neighborhood a little bit. It's beautiful. There is an Arauco Park shop shopping center which is very nice and the Araucano Park which is a park right next to it which is beautiful it has a garden full of flowers a sensational place too it's a different vibe you have to see where you want to go but we recommend that for your first time you go there and these sites that we talked about you will be close to all of them but Chile has a comma that we always put there that's more exclusive to Santiago than other places in the world many important tourist attractions and tours are outside Santiago so there are three tours that we think are must see that we thought were sensational the first one is Cajon del Maipo. It's a really sensational place, different from anything we have ever seen in our lives and it's only an hour and a bit away from Santiago, so there are many nice tours there. The cities of Vinha del Mar and Valparaíso are also one hour and a little away. They are beautiful, they are very good round trips and there is also the famous Valle Nevado and Farejones, which are the mountains with ski slopes for those who want to see snow. If you want to see the mountain climate, this fantastic scenario, it's worth a lot. So it's uh, these three tours that are very popular. They they are the most popular ones and they're also the wineries. There are many nice wineries. The main one is Concha y Toro. So to sum up, there are many things that you can do outside this region. Just to make it clear that you're not going to stay only in this region getting to know the tourist attractions. So you have to pay a little bit of attention to this. And a tip that we give for all these other tours, book there with an agency that ends up being much more relaxed. Sometimes people like to risk renting a car. You can, but what happens is that the access is a little difficult. Many times there is snow, slippery roads and cliffs so it's not so safe and easy to access these touristy places outside of Santiago. There are agencies that do this and I'll even leave the link here of one which is an agency of Brazilians there. Sensational and super reputable. We ended up doing a tour with them and they are very good. The service is very good. Either you'll be a Brazilian guy or a Chilean guy who knows how to speak Portuguese and adapts to Brazilians or some from other culture. The transportation is great. They do all these tours and the best thing is that they give you all the assistance during your trip. Then you enter this link with this link you will get a 10% discount that it's a lot in the end of the total value of the tickets you put your date there they will contact you via whatsapp they help you with everything which tours to do which days what's better or not they give you all the assistance before and after when you are there so it ends up being very good we use it them a lot we really recommend them and that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, give us a like, please, and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us a lot. And don't forget to watch the other videos, they are very good, the video of what to do in Santiago is very good, the 10 unmissable tips, there is also a very good video on how to save a lot of money during your trip to Chile, it's a step by step guide for you to save money on everything to make your trip complete with the best services and always much cheaper. So I'll leave it here along with the playlist that has all the other videos from Chile for you to check out, and that's it guys, thank Thank you very much and have nice trips.